Today we're going to be showing you how to add a graph to a Google Sheets spreadsheet and how to pretty your spreadsheet up um, by adding alternating row colours, fonts, merging cells and other good stuff. So we're going to turn this into this. If you want to know how we built this spreadsheet from scratch, then check out um, our previous video, link should be in the description. Um, you don't need to know anything about spreadsheets, we teach you everything. Or if you already have a spreadsheet and just want to add a graph or just pretty it up, then you can just dive in here. Let's get started. If you haven't seen our previous video, which I would recommend watching, um, this is the spreadsheet that we're recreating, and this is how far we got in the last video. So you can see that the basic structure is there, but we still need a graph and to polish it up, make it look less dull. Um, we'll start with the graph. So to create a graph or any form of chart, you can press this insert on the very top menu bar, and then select this chart option here, and a blank chart will appear. And another option, if you have it, is to press this insert chart button on this um, menu bar and it will do the same thing, create a chart view. Now I'm just making a few adjustments to the size and position of my chart or graph and now to edit it. So I'm going to jump over to this side menu. If this doesn't appear for you, then you can just press the three dots on the top right corner of your chart and then select the edit chart option. The first option here is the chart type and you can see ours has been set as a column chart so I'll just change that. You can see there are so many options to choose from, the scatter, column, bar charts. We don't really like pie charts but that's another topic. Um, so I want a line chart right at the top and you can have a smooth line but I'm going to go with this one so I'll just select that. Now I'm going to add a series. So this is a set or sets of data that you want to plot or be represented on your graph. And you can have multiple series, so if we jump over to the spreadsheet we're copying, you can see that we use three series since there are three lines or sets of data. And this graph is for an experiment and each set of data is a different way of measuring acceleration. So this column is one series, this column is another series, and this column is our final series. So on our spreadsheet, um, that's going to be this column, column H, column M, and column N. So I'm going to press add series, then press this little grid icon here, and then select the data range. So this is the set of data that I want to be plotted on my graph, and it's going to be this whole column here. So I'll select the starting cell, so this one right at the top, and then whilst holding down the shift key, press the N cell, so this bottom cell here, and I've selected my data range. So just press OK, and our first line has appeared on the graph. Also, the reason I included the top cell with the text in, in my range or series, is because I get the option on the side menu here to use row 6 as headers. When we tick this option, it replaces that with average, and that is what's in this cell on row 6, so this cell here. So it just uses the cell on row 6 as the header, which is pretty handy. Now I'm going to add our next series, which is going to be this column here. So following the same method as before, press add series, select my range. So this time it's going to be from this cell, hold down the shift key to this cell, press OK. And our second line has appeared on our graph. And now I'm just going to do the last series or set of data, which is in column N. And now all three series or sets of data have been plotted on our graph. And you can see Google Sheets has used whatever was in the cells on row six as the headers, which is very useful. And when we double click them, um, we are free to edit them as well as we please. Um, but we'll come back to that later. Like we mentioned earlier, there are plenty of other options for the type of chart that you want. Um, I'm just going to try a few now. Let's just try a bar chart and I'll just do a few other options now. Yeah, they look pretty cool, but let's just stick with the line graph. Next, there is something major missing off our graph, which is the x-axis. So this axis down here, and it's very similar to adding a series. We just select the add x-axis option, press this little grid icon here, and then select our range of data. So for me, I want the fourth to be the x-axis. So that's going to be all the data that's in this fourth column here. So I'm going to select the start cell, so this cell, hold down the shift key and then select our last cell in our range, press OK and now we have our x-axis. Now we have a functioning graph and we could just leave it there um, but let's just add some additional features that are shown on the graph that we're replicating. One noticeable thing is that the graph has these circular data points. So to do that on our graph um, we can go to customize, then series and here we have a few options and here's the point shape option and it's already set as a circle and on the left we can change the size of it so if I just press the drop down menu we have a few size options here I think I'm going to go with seven let's just check on the other spreadsheet yep that looks about right 
And you will already have noticed that not only have the data points appeared, but these keys were dashes before and now they're circles. If we press the drop down menu for the point shape, we have a few other options other than a circle. Um, I'll just press a few of them just to see what they look like. Okay, looking pretty cool, but I think I'm just going to stick with the circle. We also have line type here, so if I just press this we have a few options, and these look pretty cool as well. And um, We also have line thickness, line opacity, and also line colour. Also, if we select this option here with the green text, we can select which series, so that's which line, we want to apply these effects on. But to keep things simple, I'm just going to choose Apply to All Series. The next thing I think we need is some labels um, for the title and axes. So to do that, um, whilst in Customize, we can select Chart and Axes Titles. And in this drop down menu here, we can select which title we want to add and edit. So I'll start with the chart title, which is How Does Force Affect Acceleration? So I'll type that into this title text um, chart title box. And of course your title can be anything. Then below we have the options that most of you will be used to. So we can change the font, size, colour and format of the text. Um, so to do that you can just select the drop down menus and then many options appear um, so that you can customise your text. I'm just going to copy the options from the graph that I'm recreating. So the font is Verdana or Verdana, I'm not quite sure how you put how you pronounce that. Um, the size and colour I'll leave as auto since it looks pretty similar. And then for the title format I want it centre aligned so I'll press this drop down menu and then press the centre aligned icon. And now we have our title. The next thing I'm going to add is the x-axis label so if we press this drop down menu here and um, we have a chart subtitle option. I'm not going to do that. Um, you can if you want to though. And then we have our horizontal axis title so I'll select that and it's pretty straightforward. We do the same as for the chart title so you can choose any colour, size, font etc. However I'm just going to copy the text and font from the spreadsheet that I'm copying and now I'm going to do the same thing but for the vertical axis. Great I think that's everything pretty much done. I think the graph looks very similar to the one we're recreating however there's just one more thing that I want to do and that is to edit these keys or legends here so to edit them we can go to customize which you're already in and then legend and if we check the spreadsheet that we're recreating the font is different so I'm going to change ours to Verdana by pressing this drop down menu under the legend font here and then I want to edit the text in each one to copy what's on the spreadsheet so to do that I'm just going to double click the legend that I want to edit and then you can see here that I'm free to again edit the font font, colour, etc. for this specific one. And I can edit the text. So that's what I'm going to do for this one. Um, so this is acceleration light gate. So I'll just type that in. Um, I'll double click this, this next one and the text this time is acceleration stopwatch. And then the final one is theoretical acceleration. Okay, that looks like we've finished our graph. And there's plenty more that you can do. However, those were just a few basics and I think our graph looks extremely similar to the one that we're recreating. Now to make this spreadsheet look a little bit more presentable and add some colour to it like we have in the spreadsheet that we're recreating. First off I want to get these alternating colours here so to do that I can select my range of cells so this table here then go to format on the top menu bar and then press the alternating colours option and then we have a few options here um, so I'm going to go with green because that's on the spreadsheet that we're copying and then the top um, green bar here is a little darker green so I'm just going to change that by pressing this drop down menu here on the header and then I'm just going to change the colour. That looks about right um, so I'm just going to press done and we've got our alternating colours on our table. The next thing I'm going to do is the font. Um, so the font that we have in the spreadsheet we're copying is Nato. So I'm going to select all these cells here because these are all the cells that have text in. And then I'm going to press the font drop down menu on um, this menu bar here and then choose my font, so Lato. And that already looks so much neater um, compared to what it was before. And then also this menu bar here, the text is all in bold. So to do that, I can select the range of cells I want to um, apply this effect to. So it's this row here. And then just press this bold button here. We also have this top bar here, which I've not added on yet. So I'm going to do this um, cell here. Here, and it looks like it's cell E5 to H5 and they're all merged together so to do that we can go to our spreadsheet this cell to this cell select the range of cells then press format on the top menu bar and then select the merge cells option and I'm going to merge horizontally 
and then you can see that this has just been turned into one cell. And then I'm just going to copy and paste the text that is in this cell. So double tap to edit the text inside the cell and then I'm going to paste the text. Enter. Now for the next cell, that is cell I5 to M5. So let's go to our spreadsheet. So it's this cell, I5 to M5. Then the same as what we've just done, format, and then press the merge cells option and I'm going to merge horizontally. And then I'm just going to copy and paste the text that was in this cell here. Double click to edit the text inside the cell, paste, and done. The text in both of these cells is bold, um, so I'll just do that. And it's also centre aligned, so select both of these cells, um, press the bold button here, and then also press this drop down menu, and then I'm going to select centre align here. Okay, the next thing I think we need to do is this distance here. So first off, this cell has a background to it. So we just select the cell, then I'm going to press this fill colour button on this menu bar here, press that, and then choose the colour. So I think it's this colour. Uh, this one's a little lighter, but I prefer this colour, so I'm going to leave it at that. And then also, this distance here is grey and it's also bold, so we can select the text inside the cell. Then on this menu bar, I'm going to press this text colour button, then select the colour, so I think it's this grey. Yeah, that looks about right. And it's also bold. We're almost there. This spreadsheet that we're copying has a plain background, all the grid lines are gone. So to do that on ours, we can go to view on the top menu bar and then select this grid lines. And this is already um, selected because it's got the tick, so I'm going to deselect it. And you can see all of the grid lines have gone. And the final thing I think is we have some borders here. So to add that on our spreadsheet, I'm just going to select my full table and then press this borders button here and then we've got a few options here that we can choose so I'm going to go for this outer borders option so I'll press that you can select the color of your border as well and I think the border of the one we're copying is a little bit of a gray color so I'm going to select that and then finally I think there's another border around this top bar so I'm just going to select this range of cells which is just the top row press the borders button on this menu bar and then outer borders, select that. There are some additional borders here, here and here. However, I quite like how this looks. So I'm just gonna leave it at there. If you did want to add them on, then again, just select the range of cells and then just press the border button. One thing I almost forgot just before um, I finish, these columns here for the average acceleration, and theoretical acceleration, the values are all color coded. It's an extremely simple process to do this. I'll start with this average column, select the range of cells that we want to apply this effect to. So, so press this cell, the shift key to this cell then just press this text color button on the top menu bar and then select the color so i think it's this color and it's also bold as well yeah that looks right now for the acceleration column select the range of cells this cell to this cell press the text color button and this time it's this red here and it's also bold and then i'm going to finally do this last column which is this goldy yellow color so select the range of cells press the text color button and I think it's like this colour and it's also bold and it looks like it's done so as you can see this um, spreadsheet looks extremely similar to the one we're recreating uh, and of course you can customise this however you like and there are many more options and things available to do however these are just the basics and I said that we'd recreate the spreadsheet and we've done just that and learnt quite a few tips and tricks along the way thank you so much for watching we hope you found this video useful Incidentally, if you were interested in where this graph came from, um, it came from a physics experiment we did um, where we explored Newton's second law through experimentation. There is a video on that, link should be in the description, and we'd really recommend watching it if you're interested in that sort of stuff. If you liked our video, please give it a big thumbs up. It would really help us out if you also subscribed. Have a good day! Bye! Bye!